Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It's Ijoma here and it's been a long time. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make this dress. It's a corporate dress with these ruffle or peplum gathers around the waistline. Now, this is not how I'm going to wear this dress. I added that green stuff for the sake of the tutorial. I want my own to be plain. I don't need the gathers. But I'll teach you guys how to do the both of them. Now, Marking on the fabric, you guys will not see everything clearly. I decided to mark on my paper. The first measurement is my boss point, that is 10.5. My own my half length is 17.5, and I will add extra two inches for allowance. I like adding extra two inches for my allowance at the half length. In case I have any issue, I will have somewhere that I can adjust from. Okay. Now after doing that, I'll go ahead and connect my lines, and after connecting these lines. I'll label the lines, I'll label the chest line, the bust point, the, uh, the, uh, the half length and my allowance. And if I'm making this type of dress, 2 inches above my bust point is usually my chest line. So my bust point is 10.5, my chest line is 8.5, okay? Now, after doing that, I'm going to mark a normal neckline first of all. Like I'm going to mark a 3x3 three three neckline first of all normal round neckline then after marking that three by three neckline i'll mark my shoulder measurement and this dress has a shoulder part so if your shoulder is 15 make it 16 if it is 16 make it 17 okay so that it will balance very well or if you want just leave your shoulder the normal way if you want you can leave your shoulder at 16 if your shoulder is 16 so my shoulder is 16 and i marked 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 and i marked 8 now i uh, will find the mid points from my shoulder to my chest line and that is 4.25 and from that area i came in by half an inch and i will connect my armhole now for this particular dress that i am making i am not i will not add any shoulder slope to it there's no need adding a shoulder slope because i am adding a shoulder pad if you're adding a shoulder pad you don't need shoulder slope so that it will give you the fitting that you want the next thing that i'm going to do right here is to mark my nipple to nipple and my nipple to nipple is four inches so i'll go ahead and mark four Nipple to nipple is 8 divided by 2. That is 4. I'll go ahead and mark 4 inches. Then I'll connect that 4 inches line to my boss point, first of all. After connecting it to my boss point, for my dart, I want to use 0 0.75, 0 0.75. If you want, you can make it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, but I want my own to be 0 0.75, 0 0.75 because mine my i don't want to add any boss that to this dress okay now after doing that i'll go ahead and connect from one inch below my boss point to that 0 0.75 that i marked at my half length and if you're marking that your dart should stop at one inch before your boss point if you're sewing your dart your dart should not reach your boss point exactly it should come down by like one inch so that to have a clean finishing now after doing that i'll take my body measurements my boss divided by four plus one inch seam allowance this is a corporate dress i'm not turning it so i add one inch seam allowance my waist divided by four plus one inch seam allowance and also i'll add 1.45 or 1.5 for my dart you know that allowance is not one inch it is 0 0.75 0 0.75 so you have like 1.5 for your dart now after adding all that i will cut it out after cutting this out i will use it to cut out my back pattern and for the back i don't want to do too much i'll just place this pattern on the on another paper and i'll use it to cut out my back then for my back neckline for my back neckline i want to make it a high neck if you are making this type of dress your back neckline should have a high neck so that it will give you the fitting that you want so that your neckline will not be falling off your shoulder now after cutting that the side the side the two of them are equal i'll go ahead and add two inches for my zipper allowance you can add two inches or 1.5 i made my own 1.5 okay now i'll mark my zipper allowance line and after marking that zipper allowance line the next thing that i'm going to do is to cut off the remaining part of the paper then for the neckline the neckline will be 
two inches the depth of my neckline will be two inches the width remains three inches okay and i'll go ahead and connect my neckline after connecting this neckline you also notch where your back that will be at you know you add a back that to this dress so you also notch where your back that will be at okay now that is our front and that is our back the next thing that we are going to do now is to cut it on our fabric for the skirt part of this dress i'm not drafting anything for the skirt i'm not showing you guys the skirt area if you want to learn the skirt we already have a tutorial where we drafted this a skirt so it's just a normal skirt a normal straight cut skirt so i already have a pattern and this is a three quarter gown like the full length of this pattern is 46 so after making this dress the dress will be 46 inches on my body okay now i'll go ahead and place the pattern paper on the fabric and i will cut out after cutting this out i will use it to cut out my back so that is it for my skirt for the back of my skirt i'll also add 1.5 inch zipper allowance for the zipper part of that skirt okay now this is the front i'll fold my fabric and i'll place it now i this fabric is just two yards like i said i don't want to add that peplum i i'll wear this dress but i don't want the peplum to be there so i had to use a lining to illustrate the peplum area okay i bought just two yards so this fabric is two yards and to be honest i don't know the name of this fabric but i love it so much now i've placed my front on the fabric that i folded for the back and i'll go ahead and cut out the back after cutting out the back we will cut out the top okay now i am done cutting out the skirt the next thing that i'm cutting right now is the sleeve of this dress and it is just a basic long sleeve a basic long sleeve and i already have a pattern for my basic sleeve so i'll place my pattern on this fabric that i have folded and i'll add my allowance and i'll also add hemming allowance i added two inches for the folding of my sleeve and i went ahead to cut now after cutting this we'll keep this aside i love cutting out my sleeve before the bodies because the but the bustier area you can manage fabric for it and this is just two yards so i'm trying to make good use of these two yards one yard of this fabric is four thousand naira they say that it is mikado but i don't believe that this is mikado i believe that it, it has another name a yard is four thousand naira so these two yards two yards it's eight thousand naira it is really expensive now the next thing that i'm going to do is to cut out my front so you can see how i'm cutting out my front for the neckline i will cut it out with the normal three by three that i drafted on my pattern then after cutting out that normal neckline i can now go ahead to give it the shape of the neckline that i want it to have so if you are doing any asymmetric neckline if you are cutting out the front cut it with three by three first of all then after you can go ahead and mark the type of neckline that you want your gown to have okay now i'll cut out the back no shoulder slope remember that i told you guys there will be no shoulder slope and after doing that you also indicate where your dart will be at not where your dart will be at okay now after doing this we will cut out our peplum and i said that the peplum is just for illustration sake i i don't mean to you i didn't mean to use the green fabric for that peplum but i just have to do it for the tutorial sake now when i get that green fabric this is the green fabric i'll fold it into into four you know the way we fold our peplum if you fold one and you go ahead and fold the other one then for you to know the radius that we use to get enough peplum for you what you are going to do is that you multiply your waist measurements by two and add extra 10 inches to it or if you want you can just multiply your waist measurements by two but the best thing is multiply your waist measurements by two then add extra 10 inches to it so my 
waste is 30 multiplied by 2 that is 60 plus an plus extra 10 inches that will be 70 so whatever you have at the end of the day you will divide it by 6.28 so my waste is 30 times 2 60 plus 10 70 so that's 70 i divided it by 6.28 and it gave me 11.1 or something, but I made it 11.5 while I was cutting. So from the center of the folding of this peplum, you will mark 11 point, you will mark whatever you have. Me, I'm marking 11.5. And another thing is that you can cut this as a flounce, but cutting it as a peplum is actually faster and easier for me if you want you can turn your fabric with a lining you can turn your peplum with a lining and the lining that you should turn your peplum with should be the main fabric the main fabric will be the main fabric and it still be the lining also but if you don't want to do it that way in the original design after cutting this peplum they hem it they they overlock this they weave it and they hem it the full length okay now after marking all this i'll go ahead and cut out this circle and that is what i will use for that flare gather around the waist and the measurements that i have here is okay for me okay now i will cut out and after cutting it out i went ahead to hem it i folded it at the full length now if i open this up i'll divide it into or open up somewhere and if i spread it this is what you have so if you make your gathers it will give you the waves or the fullness you want and the full length of this peplum that i cut is 10.5 but if you are making yours you should make it let's say 11.5 11.5 is you should make it 8.5 or 9.5 10 is too much for it now for my neckline i came down by seven inches i marked the straight line then from the other side i connected the v necklace so seven inches is okay for the depth of your neckline come down by seven inches and then connect it to the v side of the neckline and this is what we have now after cutting our neckline we'll go ahead and cut out a facing if you're making this type of dress you should make use of a facing do not use a bias. Bias will not give you the clean finishing that you need, okay? Now I am done with my cutting. I'll go ahead and place my facing on both of them. After placing my facing, I'll also stitch, top stitch, and I'll add my darts. Remember that we have darts on this top. So you go ahead and add that. I did not add any darts to the skirt. I don't like adding darts to the skirt of your corporate wear. Using the help of zipper board at the back, I don't need to add that. All right, now this is what we have. First of all, pin, especially for the sake of the fabric that I'm making use of, I had to pin everything. Then this is the facing for the front. I will place the facing. After pinning the facing, you go ahead and top. You go ahead and sew and then top stitch. Okay. Now after doing that, we we'll keep that aside. The next thing that we are going to do is that we'll close the zipper allowance of our back skirt this is our back the back of our skirt use that 1.5 to close the zipper allowance it is always good to close your zipper allowance before you take your body measurements so if you are closing the zipper allowance you should make use of a loose stitch your stitch should be loose then after you come back and take your measurement now this is my sleeve i will go ahead and 
fold my sleeve or hem my sleeve now i am done turning the neckline of this bustier and i have added my dart to it so i'll keep it aside the back also i am done with the back i'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance of this back so this back has two pieces the same way we close the zipper allowance of the skirt part is the same way we will close the zipper allowance of the top so i'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance of this back before taking the Full measurement now this is our sleeve i have hemmed the full length of our sleeve and i have also trimmed it okay i've also shaped it now this is the front part of our skirt and um, this is where we are going to add our peplum first so from the waistline come down by like six or five inches come down by five inches the six i use is too much so from your waistline come down by five inches and then you mark a round shape i don't know if you can see the marking that i'm doing right here but that is the shape you will do now after doing the marking you get your peplum then curve the edge of your peplum you see this side i curved it okay curve it please before you hem then notch the center of that peplum pin the center of the peplum to the center of the skirt then you will pin the end the other ends to stop at the hip line or somewhere close to the knee line okay now the center of this peplum i will pin it to the center of the skirt then the other side i will make sure that it ends at the hip area this one will end at the hip area that side of the that end of the peplum will end of, end at the hip area this one also will end at the hip area then if you go to a sewing machine to sew you will know how to do your gathers okay now after making my gathers this is what i have and the dress is taking shape already the reason why i follow this pattern is because i want the side to enter the side seam if you want to sew it on top of your gown it is okay but the neat way to do it is to make it enter the side seam okay now i will bring them closer and i'll place my skirts on you this is the basket i'll place it then pin down before taking your body measurements after pinning down you take your body measurements and then you go ahead and join your skirt now this is my back part i have closed the zipper allowance and this is what i have i'll iron the zipper allowance i will now place the front on it after placing the front on it i'll shape the shoulder and then take my body measurements nothing serious is going on here for now just pin your bodies together take your body measurements and shape then after shaping you iron both the skirt and this top okay now this is my skirt after shaping this is what it looks like okay the next thing that i'm going to do right now is to trim the half length of the skirt it is really important trim the full length before you fold the full length and trim the half length also so go ahead and trim the half length then from the center back to avoid zipper board fold it from the center back go down by one inch at the center back cut off one inch at the center back so after cutting it this is what you should have your back should be deeper by one inch at the center back then you also get the other one this is the front part the top you measure your half length you mark your half length after trimming your half length you fold the center back also if you fold the center back you will take out one inch from the center back of that bustier take off one inch i'll show you guys what it looks like this to help you avoid that fold you normally have at the back of a dress okay now fold it this is the center back i am folding the center back after folding it you go ahead and 
three more fly one inch will go up by one inch but two of them should remain equal at the side seam so now this is what it should look like after taking that out then this is the other one you go ahead and pin the two of them together and so then this is our shoulder part you trim off the excess on your shoulder part you don't need to use a very thick shoulder pad then you should weave the sides of your shoulder pad weaving like you overlock it or you weave it then the next thing i'm going to do is to notch the center of this shoulder pad so that the center of the shoulder pad will be at the center of the shoulder the center line of the shoulder joining so the center of that shoulder pad should face the joining of the shoulder then you will use pins to hold this shoulder pad down. After holding it down with pins, you can now go ahead and attach your sleeve to it. Shoulder pad is really good. The fitting it gives to your dress is fine. So this is the reason why we did not take off any zipper, any shoulder slants, okay? So that after fixing the shoulder pad, everything will take place. Now I'll go ahead and get my sleeve. After doing this, I'll get my sleeve. Then you go ahead and add your sleeve to the both sides. Then this is the skirt area. You go ahead and join. After joining the two of them, you fix your zipper. So ready to wear class is ongoing. If you want to register for a ready to wear class, please drop a comment in the comment section and I will direct you a very detailed ready to wear class. Okay. See you all in my next video. Thank you.